Can you guys see the screen? Yes or no? Yes. Yes, okay. So write the question. Write the question, KP for the reaction. KP for the following reaction is 0 0.157 ATM at 27 degrees Celsius at 27 degrees Celsius and 1 ATM pressure. And one ATM pressure. Calculate the KC for the reaction. So the reaction is given to be N2O4, which is in gas state. It is in equilibrium with two moles of N2, two moles of NO2 gas, two moles of NO2 gas. This is the reaction. These are the conditions you have been given. How to solve this? They are asking, KP is given, and they're asking you to calculate the KC. What is the relationship between KP and KC? First thing is that you should ask, you have been given something, you have been asked something. What is the relationship between what is given and what is asked? So we have KP is equal to KC into RT times delta NG. Delta NG. That means KC will be equal to whatever the KP is divided by RT times delta NG. So we have been given KP. We need to write about what is the uh, R and what is the T and what is the delta NG. So first of all, let me find what is the delta NG. So you tell me what is KP here? What is the KP given, guys? Zero point. What is the KP? 0 0.157. 0 0.157. What is R? Tell me. Anna, you don't know the key, but I, what will be R? 0 0.0821 or 0 0.831? 0 0.0831. Some sort of. 0 0.0821. Because it is liter ATM. 0 0.0821 liter. ATM per Kelvin per mole. What is the temperature? What is the temperature, guys? 300. Yes. Huh? Yes, Minashi? 300. Yeah, very good. 300 Kelvin. 300 Kelvin. Now, what is the delta NG? Number of moles of product minus number of moles of reactant. How many moles are there in the product, guys? How many moles in the product? Two. Two. How many moles in the reactant? One. 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 Two, four. Which will be equal to one. Yes or no? Correct? Yes. Now we just need to plug in the values. So you just plug in the values. KP divided by RS 0 0.0821. Okay, KP ka bhi hai value na. KP is 0 0.157 ATM. Per Kelvin per mole into the temperature. What is the temperature? 300 Kelvin. So first of all, we will get rid of the units. ATM, ATM, Kelvin, and here Kelvin inverse, all of them will cancel each other and you will get in terms of, Kc will be in terms of mole per liter. So see liter is remaining here, mole is also re remaining here. So Kc will be equal to 0 0.157 
डिवाइड बाय 0.0821 इनटू 300 मोल्स पर लीटर या करेक्ट मैं मना 0.00637 मोल्स पर लीटर ओके सर विदा केसी so please uh, write this question down na no? write this down then guys done sir done okay now in this you will see that uh, here we the kp and kc both have both have units right? here both have units so it basically depends on the number of moles of reactants and products if there is a if both the number of moles of reactants and products are same then you will be not having any units but if they are different then depending on which is larger you will be having some units okay if the number of moles of the product it is larger then you will have some unit and if it is less also then you will have some unit it depends on the case so please write a note kp and kc kp and kc don't have any units if the number of moles of reactants and products are equal but if the number of moles of reactants and products are not equal then they would have some units okay they will have some units for example in this case as you can see we will have no2 which is squared hai na so kc or K, kc will be equal to no2 square divided by n2o4 so n2o4 will have unit moles per liter this will also have moles per liter whole square hai na so this will be cancelled and there will be moles per liter remaining and that is why we are getting moles per liter as the unit of kc here okay as the unit of kc but generally if you have the number of moles of reaction and product equal then you will not have any units you will not have any units now on the basis of the phases of reactants and the product the chemical species equilibrium reactions they are divided into two parts the equilibrium reactions they are divided into two parts two parts or two types i would say not parts one is known as homogeneous equilibrium the other is known as heterogeneous equilibrium okay now in homogeneous equilibrium all species are in same same phase all species and i are in same phase here we have 
species are in different species. Species means the chemical species are in different phase. What do I mean by different phase? That means if some, some will be in solid, some will be in liquid, and the other will be in gases. So what I mean is you will have different phases. You will have different phases. So let me give you a question regarding this. And you guys will write the question, okay? You understood this, yes or no? Simple classification. Heterogeneous, homogeneous. Yes. Sir. Guys? Okay. Anna? So now you will just turn the mic on all of you, please. Please turn the mic on. Tell me for the A1, heterogeneous or homogeneous? Hetero or homo? So homo. What about the next one? Homogeneous. Hom. What about others? Uh, baki log kyun answer kar rahe? Please turn the mic on. As a dolok se jawab denge, fir aap log kya kijega? And I'll not only put a come second job. Did you have to be? Yes, you said, Sayyid Muhammad Razan Minashi. Yes, sir. If all of you can turn the mic on, what is the problem? All of you, please turn the mic on. So, a clash over or put me now. Yeah, what about the C1? Tell me, guys. Okay, what about the D1? Heterogeneous. All of you heterogeneous? Yes, sir. So this is in what phase? This is in aqueous phase, right? Yes, sir. Yes. Aqueous means aqueous means aqueous mean water, no? In water. And what about what about H2O? Also water? Aqueous? Aqueous. So this will be homo. Correct? Yes or no? Yes, sir. Anna, this yes, will be homo sir. because you have to yes. keep in mind this, this is liquid. This is liquid, but this is water. This is water. Other you have to go For example, if you had Br2 liquid, then we would say, okay, fine. Br2 is a different species at all. It's a different species. So this is water is also in aqua state only. In water, water will be the water only in aqua state only. Okay, so that is why this is homo. What about the next one? E1? Homo or hetero? Heterogeneous. Solid. This will be heterogeneous. Okay. This will be heterogeneous. Now, let us talk about. So, I want to write about, I want to write the KC for this equation. Okay. So, please listen. I will write the KC as the product concentration that is Fe, OH, whole thrice. And here we will having Fe3 positive concentration. To the concentration of OH negative Q. Yes or no, guys? Correct? Yes, sir. Yes. Okay. Now listen very carefully. You know, listen very carefully. FeOH whole thrice is a solid. Yes or no? Correct? Yes or no? Are you high yes. yes. It is solid. And then it is converting, it is converting into some ions, Fe3 positive, aqueous plus OH3 negative. Can I write this equation? Yes or no? Tell me. This equation is present now in this reaction. Yes, 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 that means this solid, some of the solid is converting. That means I can say. Can I say, let me write it like this, wait a second. What happened? We had this Fe3, FeOH whole thrice. Now this will have a certain mass Anna? and that will lead to certain number of moles and they'll be divided by volume. That will give me the concentration, correct? Yes or no, it will have certain mass, which will give me certain number of moles divided by volume will give me concentration. Now, when that when this reaction is going to happen, let us say that some FeOH whole thrice reacted. So the mass will decrease, yes or no? Mass yes, will decrease? Sir. Yes, sir. 
number of moles will decrease yes or no yes sir number of moles will decrease yes sir. okay now what about volume dekhiye volume bhi change ho gaya na because we have solid now if you have less mass the solid will be occupying less volume yes or no correct yes or no yes sir Yes, all of you please tell me yes or no yes, so what will be the ye kaun si isme batai kya hoga concentration kya hoga badhega ghatega constant what will be the concentration then it will increase decrease or be constant if the mass is decreasing number of moles is decreasing and volume is decreasing what will happen to the constant what will happen to the constant it will change increase decrease constant the constant constant yes or no ha guys yes sir it is going to be constant all of you agree yes or no yes sir yes sir no? similarly similarly if you have pure liquid also if you have pure liquid here then from pure liquid if some mass is removed that will also be there will be also change in the decrease in the volume and if you have pure liquid here and then the mass is changed that means there will be also a change in volume if it is pure liquid and that is why here also the concentration will be constant the concentration is not going to change and if something is not changing then we don't want them then we don't want them in our equilibrium representation why because if something is not changing that means they are already in equilibrium and we are not we are not interested in those portions which are which are not changing so how do we write the equilibrium for this we say that that kc it is equal to true the concentration of apoh whole thrice solid divided by the concentration of fe three positive plus three oops not plus Very sorry. Into the concentration of OH negative Q, this concentration is taken as one. Okay, so by convention, and you also know the reason now by why by convention it is that by convention, the concentration of pure solids and liquid, pure solid. and liquid is taken as oops no zero no unity one is taken as unity one so this we will write at kc equal to one upon the concentration of fe three positive into the concentration of oh negative whole thrice okay into the concentration of oh negative whole thrice so for example if you have cacio3 that is solid and it is in equilibrium with cao calcium oxide which is also a solid plus carbon dioxide which is a gas so for this reaction you will write kc as what you will write kc as the concentration of CaO into the concentration of CO2 divided by the concentration of Ca CO3, but we know that these things are what CaO is solid, Ca CO3 is also solid, so both of this will be equal to one, and I can write the Kc just as equal to the concentration of CO2 gas. Is this clear with everyone? And the Kp will be written as the pressure of CO two only. Is this clear with everyone? Yes or no? Tell me. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All of you. Okay. Similarly, now you will do a question. Tell me. Huh? Write the minimum constant expression for the following reactions. So you have to do. A, B, C, A, 
you come to the B material A and C, and then do E. Team Saval Kija Baki homework, okay? A, C, and E. So you will write the reaction. So equilibrium constant is written for reactions. Until and unless you have a reaction, you can't write the, you can't represent the equilibrium constant, okay? It is only true for a chemical equation. Only true for a chemical equation. So write the question, then write the answers for each of these. Click a photo, send it to Nishkar sir. Also write the name when you are sending it, okay? Write the name in your notebook somewhere in the page while you are sending the answers. And Maimuna, you will be there now for paper discussion after this? Yes. Send it to Nishkar sir, okay?
Can you please turn the mic on? Yes, sir. So in the A question, can you please... Uh, what have you written after BaO, barium oxide? Oh, by mistake, I didn't see that reading. Yeah, paper me apne, hai na? Yeh galti ki hai apne. Aur ek cheez. और एक चीज लिसन सॉलिड्स यहां पे सॉलिड्स का तो 1 हो जाएगा ना यस सर इफ यू इफ आई एम गोइंग टू राइट द इक्विलिब्रियम कांस्टेंट देन आई विल हैव टू इग्नोर द सॉलिड्स ना सी सेम क्वेश्चन कैल्शियम हियर वी हैव कैल्शियम देयर वी हैव बेरियम नथिंग एल्स सो व्हाट इज द केस CO2 ओनली ना यस ये सवाल देने का मकसद ही यही था कि दैट यू विल इग्नोर द कंसंट्रेशन ऑफ सॉलिड्स कंसंट्रेशन ऑफ सॉलिड कंसंट्रेशन ऑफ प्योर लिक्विड ओके 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 सो हाउ विल यू राइट द केसी री राइट इट री राइट इट CO2 एंड आल्सो सी द ब्रैकेट्स दैट यू आर यूजिंग इट इज नॉट राइट यू हैव टू यूज स्क्वायर ब्रैकेट्स ओके स्क्वायर ब्रैकेट्स गॉट इट ओके सर you have to ignore the concentrations of pure solids and pure liquid as i did in the previous reaction of calcium carbonate okay calcium oxide and carbon dioxide बहुत बढ़िया ये किसी ने भेजा नाम ही नहीं लिखा बहुत ही बढ़िया दैट इज राइट बट आई हैव नॉट गॉट दी नेम हम कैसे बताएं सर मीनाशी या केपी भी लिख दिया मीनाशी नहीं तो मीनाशी यू हैव नॉट सेंड मी द होल आंसर सर सेंड इट नाउ ओके
Okay, Minashi, can you please turn the mic on? Yes, sir. So in this reaction, the E reaction, okay. So what we ignore, we ignore the concentration of pure solids and pure liquid. Pure liquids. So Al is solid, yes or no? Yes. What about this? Is it solid? S3 plus? No, no, it is aqueous. It is aqueous. Okay. What about this? Al3 positive. Aqueous. Is it solid? No. No, no. So you have to change the answer, yes or no? See what you have to say. Okay. So Khalil say Yes, Khalil, your answer is right. You just ignore the aluminium, right? Others you don't ignore. You have to look at the phase, okay? You have to look at the phase. And similarly, in this question, you have to ignore the concentration of the liquid, the pure liquid. This is pure liquid, no? I've said this is liquid. You have to ignore this. Okay. I have got only three answers. Three answers. Yeah. Okay. Got only three answers. Sir, I have sent, but it's loading. I checked loading. Okay, I think this is normal. Okay. So you have corrected the analysis now, I think. Okay, there are uh, again a uh, few mistakes. Still, there are a few mistakes. See, Aap logo thoda sa, you have to be a bit careful. Right? I'm writing for the E1. I'm writing for the E1. You have to be a bit careful. So concentration of the product. What is the product? Maimona, tell me. For the yeah. E reaction. AL, AL yeah. to the power 3 plus. power That is charge, na? Yeah, charge. Na? So it should be inside the bracket, yeah. Yeah, it should be inside the bracket. And then x to the power 3 by 2. 3 by 2. Divided by the concentration of H plus to the power 3. Okay. Okay, so simple things, but still they are important. I think I have got from we got from the zone. Mm, yes, the zone is correct, but for a clear data. Okay, Mazia. Okay, so uh, all of those who have written for the Cena, you have to yeah, yeah, Mazia, I got your answers. It is correct. One more. Thing that I will say that in this you will have to put the concentration of CS3, COCS3, and also write the phase because the reactant and the product they are same. So I pata nahi that what you are trying to tell me. CS3, COCS3 of liquid or the gas. So whenever needed, you have to uh, tell whether it is gas or liquid. Otherwise, see here I am not going to tell because all of these species they are not repeated anywhere. Right? When the species is repeated, you have to tell me whether it is gas or in some other phase. Okay. So I think all of you got this. Okay. So the next topic that we want to discuss is so when we are talking about casein and we talk about the concentration of product divided by the concentration of reactant. So these are the concentration at equilibrium. These both are concentration at equilibrium. So when I drew a graph like this, 
the concentration are changing. So we are talking about these concentration. These concentration are from here. So this is this concentration. So we have these concentrations. Okay, this concentration of A, and this is the concentration of B. That is the reactant and product. Okay. Now what about what these concentration and when the concentration is changing when the concentration is changing how do we represent that so that is generally represented as the reaction quotient so please write reaction quotient reaction quotient what is reaction quotient it is the same thing the ratio of the ratio of concentration terms the ratio of concentration terms of products to reactants this is one this is the ratio of concentration terms raised to concentration terms of products of products ratio of concentration terms of products and reactant raised to the stoichiometric coefficient. Okay, so it is generally said said that Q it is equal to reaction quotient Q. It is equal to the concentration of some the multiplication of the product of the concentration of product. product raised to the power stoichiometric coefficient and the product of the concentration of reactant raised to their coefficient. But these concentration of product and reactant, these are not the equilibrium. And these are the, you can say these are the initial concentration. But at equilibrium, when the equilibrium has been achieved, then the Q becomes K. So K is a special case. K is the special case of Q where K is of product reactant at equilibrium. This sign equilibrium means the concentration at equilibrium, the concentration of product at equilibrium and the concentration of reactant at equilibrium raised to their stoichiometric coefficient. So you understand this difference, yes or no? So at equilibrium, Q is equal to K. Q is equal to K. So all of you, please tell me, you understand this point? Yes or no? Hmm? Yes, sir. Yes, yes sir. you understand this point. Okay, fine. Okay, good. Now I will start looking at the application of equilibrium constant, okay? Now for that, I will start with a very basic example, very basic example, and how things happen and what are the types of question you would be getting. I'm starting with a very basic example. That is A in, is in equilibrium with B. A is in equilibrium with B and you will be given a reaction. You will be also given the equilibrium constant because as that you are doing this reaction, a reaction is done for the first time. A reaction would have done many times previously and people would have calculated their concentration at equilibrium and they would have also have got the K. They would also have got the equilibrium constant that will be there in the data booklet for each and every reaction that is present in this universe for all the reaction that we are going to do the general reactions you will be having the equilibrium constant given so let us say for this reaction a and b i am giving you equilibrium constant it is equal to one what is the equilibrium constant mm -hmm. what is the equilibrium constant guys what mm -hmm. is the ah yehi bolne mein aap logo pata nahi kitna time lag jata hai kya hi tab sawal kar diya humne equilibrium constant is one what does this mean? I know what does this mean? Iska kuch aapko feel aana chahiye, na? Batayye. How many of you can feel this k is equal to one? Does it make sense? Any sense, any literal sense? Can you translate this? This is the language of chemistry. How should I treat this and how should I look at it in simple terms? In simple terms. So I will say, okay, fine. If the k is equal to one, that means they are saying, that means they are saying that is k, which is equal to the concentration of k divided by the concentration of B, this is equal to one. Yes or no? Yes or no, guys? 
Yes. Yes. That means I can say it is one by one. Any problem? No, sir. No. Now, now I hope it makes sense that for each mole of B, there is one mole of A. Yes or no? Yes. For each molar concentration of B, there is one mole of A in the same volume. If I'm talking about same volume, then for each mole of B, there is one mole of A. All of you, can you see this? Yes or no? Tell me. Yes. Yes. What does it mean? It means that whatever I start from, whether I start from 100 moles of A or 2000 moles of B or anything, like it doesn't matter what I start from, after a long time, after a very long time, there will be there will be there will be after a very long time after a very long time there will be nilikte after a very long time for each mole of it after a very long time for each mole of b there will be one mole of A. Yes or no? Yes or no, guys? Tell me. Yes. Okay, all yes. of you agree. Okay, all of you agree. Okay. So, what if, let us say, if the K was equal to 2, the K was equal to 2, then I would say that after a very long time, there will be. Wait a second. B by A hoga na. तो मैं ध्यान ही दिया बताइए कि b by a होगा यहाँ पे हमको चेंज करना पड़ेगा सो फॉर ईच मोल ऑफ a फॉर ईच मोल ऑफ a देर विल बी वन मोल ऑफ b है ना ना इफ इफ k इज इक्वल टू टू देर विल बी टू मोल ऑफ b है ना बिकॉज़ k इज इक्वल टू b by a है ना कंसेंट्रेशन देर विल बी टू मोल ऑफ b फॉर ईच मोल ऑफ Yes or no? Yes, yes or no, guys? Sir. Okay. Now, just let us do the reverse thing. I can say that if K is equal to 1 by 2, then K will be what? B upon A. Anna, now, in this case, I can say there will be 2 mole of A. Anna, because A is what? This is 1 by 2. So, A ka 2 mole, B ka 1 mole. For, for There will be 2 mole of A for each mole of B. Yes or no? Any difficulty, yes. guys? Any difficulty till here? No, sir. No. So, I hope all of you have now a, a bit of feeling about the equilibrium constant, the number. Yes or no? Yes or no, guys? Yes, sir. Now you tell me if I say that k is equal to 10 to the power 4, or let us say 10 to the power 3 only. 10 to the power 3. If k is equal to 10 to the power 3, that means what I am saying is that k, which is equal to the concentration of product divided by, so I am writing products here, okay? By the concentration of reactant, it is equal to. 1000 upon 1, it means for each mole of reactant, there will be 1000 mole of product. Correct? Yes or no? Tell me, guys. If 10 to the power 3, that means what? For each mole of reactant, there will be thousand mole of product it means that at equilibrium after a very long time i will have a this is my container in which reaction happened and in this container i have the reactant is equal to one mole and the product is thousand mole yes or no tell me guys yes. no no problem i i can handle no but i cannot handle silence like this 
Now you have only one hour. You can say na yes or no. Or just say that I'm thinking. Is too boring, yeah, bro. Yeah, tell me. Sorry, did you get this? Yes or no? If A is equal yes, to X yes, or B, then yes. K is equal to got it. Okay. I don't say it. For each mole of R, there will be thousand mole of product. Thousand mole of product. Now tell me, can I say that reactant is so less that I can ignore the reactant and at the end, if I have this reaction that is reactant giving is in equilibrium with product, and I will say it is kya ka equilibrium, hai na? What is this equilibrium? We have all the moles we have of product only, so I can say that this reaction goes for completion. Yes or no? If K is very high, then I will say that at equilibrium the product is dominating. At equilibrium, the product is dominating. Correct? Yes. Yes, sir. The product is dominating. But if I have K which is equal to ten to the power minus three, which means it is equal to one upon ten to the power three, which means the concentration of B upon A is equal to one upon ten to the power minus three. Yes or no? थोड़ा सा चेंज कर देते हैं इसको हम प्रोडक्ट्स और रिएक्टेंट लिख लेते हैं ये बताइए आपको ये समझ में आया कि नहीं दिस लाइन इफ के इज इक्वल टू टेन टू दी पावर माइनस थ्री करेक्ट व्हाट मींस इट मींस दैट आफ्टर अ वेरी लॉन्ग टाइम आफ्टर अ वेरी लॉन्ग टाइम दैट मींस एट इक्लिब्रियम आफ्टर अ वेरी इक्लिब्रियम का मतलब आफ्टर अ वेरी लॉन्ग टाइम आफ्टर अ वेरी लॉन्ग टाइम फॉर ईच मोल ऑफ Product, we will have how many moles of reactant? Tell me. Thousand, right? Thousand, yes. Sir. That means I started. If I start with thousand mole of the reactants, and I am only getting one mole of the product, that means reaction not even started. Yes or no? Hai na? I started with thousand moles of reactant, and at equilibrium, if after a very long time, like after two three years. I'm seeing one mole of product, then I can say right the reactant practically it did not even start. You thought no? Yes, sir. Yeah. So listen, we can divide. We have the first application of equilibrium constant. Application of equilibrium. Constant, okay. That is predicting the extent of reaction. Predicting the extent of reaction. That means whether the reaction is going towards an extent high extent. का मतलब it will go towards product, है ना? If A is going high as high extent, that means A will go all the A will be converted to All the reaction will be converted to product if it has high extent. If it has low extent, that means it will not be converted. So that depends on the K. So you have your K, the equilibrium constant K of a particular reaction. You can classify it into three range. If you have, if you have the K, and that is also. If you have the K, so now you have one very strange look. You have to write K, and then here the equilibrium sign seems like really weird for me. Okay, as K, and then you have ten to the power minus three. K is what less than ten to the power minus three. So in this case, what will dominate? Reactants will dominate. Dominate at equilibrium. That means there will be most of the concentration will be of reactant, and I can say that reaction hardly takes place. Reaction होई नहीं रहा, है ना? Hardly takes place. Now, if you have the equilibrium constant, that is, yeah, have the equilibrium constant that is greater than ten to the power three. Now in this case, products will dominate at equilibrium. मैं ये याद करने की चीजें नहीं है। I hope you are understanding these parts. Yes or no now? Dominate at equilibrium. 
Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And then a reaction goes for completion. Next is if you have K, which is greater than 10 to the power minus 3, but it is smaller than 10 to the power plus 3. Then in this case, I will say that both reactants and products are present at equilibrium in appreciable amounts. Appreciable ka matlab measurable amounts, okay? Appreciable amounts. Huh? So, these are the three classification. If you have 10 to the power minus 3, that means it will, uh, the reaction is hardly going to take place. And if you have between 10 to the power minus 3 and 10 to the power plus 3, it means that both the reactants and products will be there. And if it is more than, if it is greater than 10 to the power 3, in that case, what is going to happen? In that case, the products is going to dominate. Please let me know if you have any doubt till here. Huh, guys, tell me any doubt till here. No doubt, sir. Oh, sorry, sir. Okay, so. So next is actually a bit lengthier topic that is predicting the direction of reaction. So what I will do, I will discuss this later. Okay, I will discuss this later. I'll discuss this later. That means uh, on Thursday. Yeah, yeah. I'll discuss this on Thursday. I'm looking for some question. If I have, okay, I can give you guys for the extent of reaction. What's the fact that I extend up reaction? No, fine. Next session, we will discuss the uh, direction. So this is it. Uh, so let me stop share. Achha, wait a second. I will also give you the questions. You know, questions from NCERT that you have to do. So those questions will be, I think one to five you guys can do. Yeah. One, two, three. Uh, three is nice question. Na, three is nice question. Agar doubt leke nahi aaye aap log. Ya to aap log three ko kijega ya to doubt leke aayega. Otherwise, I think you will not have. You will not have attempted only. So three is nice question. You will do three, four, five, six, seven. Seven ho gaya. Then eight ni karna hai, nine ni karna hai, ten, ten. 10 करना है 8 और 9 नहीं करना है ना 10 कर सकते हैं ना आप लोग एक सेकंड लेट मी डी चेक 10 ही आया यू कैन डू 10 हां 13 आल्सो 10 एंड 13 10 13 8 नो नहीं 10 13 सो so, 10 13 8 नहीं करना है 9 नहीं करना है तो 7 करना है आपको 6 करना है आपको 5 4 3 2 एंड 1 एन सी ई आर टी Exercises okay, NCRT exercise seven point. I think this is chapter seven now. Seven or six or seven. Seven point one. Ever please, they please upload up name NCRT. Me, please see these in your NCRT one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, ten, and thirteen. Yes, 
ना तो आ, ये तो अपलोड हो गई असाइनमेंट विल बी अपलोडेड दीज क्वेश्चन बट डोंट वेट फॉर असाइनमेंट है ना सेवन पॉइंट सेवन पॉइंट सेवन ही लिख दिया हमने स्टार्ट डूइंग दिस ओके थैंक सो लेट मी स्टॉप शेयरिंग द स्क्रीन आई नीड टू गेट दिस थिंग इन पी डी एफ फॉर्म सो यू गाइज प्लीज वेट when you are writing the notes na please try to understand each and every part okay aise nahi ki andha dhun bas aag pandar aag pandar ke to nahi likh payega aapko lekin what i try what i'm trying to say is that understand and write if you have doubts then note that point where you are having doubt okay so what is this this is equilibrium lecture 1 please let me know if you can see this if you can view the pdf if you can download the pdf ka download hi kar liya kyunki aap log abhi okay yes sir you can see it right okay yes sir अच्छा ये इक्विब्रियम बहुत ही खतरनाक कट गया बीच से आई डोंट नो व्हाई दिस मतलब व्हाई क्या ये तो एक लाइन से पेज होता है उसमें कट ही जाता है बीच बीच में कुछ कुछ खैर हटा नो प्रॉब्लम फाइन ओके ये सॉल्यूट ओके ये मेरा पानी कहीं और है शुगर कहीं और चला गया इसमें नो प्रॉब्लम मोस्ट थिंग्स आर देयर ओके ओके फाइन 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 चलो Thank you guys thank you very much we will meet on thursday hai na bye bye take care guys please write the notes do the questions okay please karke aa jayega 73 questions how many questions are there 73 questions in this thing 73 63 hai i think it is 73 ha ah, there are 73 questions to usme maan lijiye aap log ke paanch sawal hata dijiye jo syllabus se bhi kaat diya gaya ho hai na 10 sawal bhi hata dijiye aap you will have approximately 60 questions so on an average you have to do at more like almost 10 questions daily hai na so I have given you a few first question तो वही है जो हमने बिल्कुल explain किया आपको class में so please do those questions okay please do those question and come with doubt in the next class bye guys thank you thank you very much thank you sir thank you sir thank you sir thank you thank you bye bye yes ma'am no no you tell me yes sir Yes. Yes, sir. I didn't hear you. Ah, uh, you have doubts, na? In which questions? Yeah. There is one question uh, that says that calculate delta G to the power of zero and the equilibrium constant for the formation of NO two from NO and O two at two ninety eight Kelvin, and the reaction is given there. NO plus half O two gives NO two. Maybe this one is okay. अच्छा ये है देर इज एक्टली नो इज अ डायरेक्ट रिलेशनशिप ये भी इक्लिब्रियम में पढ़ाना है दैट इज द इक्लिब्रियम कॉन्स्टेंट एंड डेल्टा जी आफ्टर द एप्लीकेशन एंड ऑल आई विल टीच दैट
ओके वेट अ सेकंड लेट मी शेयर द स्क्रीन है ना ये ना डेल्टा जी नॉट पढ़ते हैं इसको जी नॉट ओके डेल्टा ओके है ना वेर आर यू फ्रॉम बाई द वे मलयाली टीचर्स सो ये लोग दे तो यू यूज टू से दैट वन नॉट टू नॉट इन नॉट इवन वन हंड्रेड टू वन नॉट टू सो दैट इज दी नॉट ओके so zero is also sent as not delta g not that represents the standard case that represents the standard case okay fine so we have delta g not calculate the delta g not of this and the equilibrium constant is and so they have to uh, we have to consider in the k also then they are given no gas क्वेश्चन no it's the same same uh, actually the representations are not right because they have written delta g not of no2 hai na as a yeah right so it should be delta g not of formation okay mm -hmm. okay okay because no2 ka kya ho raha oxidation ho raha hai reduction bahut kuch ho sakta hai na so what type of yeah. reaction are we talking about that is delta g not i think it is for formation and like you can see like ncert mein aise diya raha tha delta f and yahan pe g not hoga so wo f ka na you, you can you see that there is a space between delta and g like there is a wide gap yes sir ha to wahan pe wo f hoga wo print nahi hua hai sir then you have 52.0 kilo joules per mole and then the delta g not formation of no is 87.0 kilo joule per mole uske baad delta g not of o2 it is ha uh, it is 0 kilo joule per mole hoga you get us chal डेल्टा जी नोट ऑफ फॉर्मेशन आपको इस रिएक्शन का निकालना है है ना इस रिएक्शन का निकालना है यू हैव दिस गिवन डेल्टा जी नोट ऑफ फॉर्मेशन ऑफ एनओ टू एंड डेल्टा जी नोट फॉर्मेशन ऑफ एनओ है ना सो दिस डेल्टा जी नोट फॉर्मेशन ऑफ एनओ टू सो फॉर्मेशन रिएक्शन विल हैव टू राइट दी रिएक्शन ऑफ फॉर्मेशन ऑफ एनओ टू तो ईच एंथैल्पी ईच एंथैल्पी और आई कैन से ईच इंफॉर्मेशन अबाउट थर्मो केमिस्ट्री इट टेल्स मी अबाउट अ रिएक्शन सो दिस delta g not formation of no2 will represent a reaction in which no2 is formed yes yes or no yes ye aapko formation ke reaction likhne aate hain ki nahi aate hain yes ye batao as you tell me what are the elements that are forming no2 nitrogen and oxygen so nitrogen in uh, what will be the formula for nitrogen that i should write here n plus o n2 हाफ ऑफ एन टू 
O2. O2. Correct. So these are the reactions yes. that is given to us. These are the reactions given to us. Okay. Now you tell me this is my target reaction. Is delta G not ni kalni kliye bola hai? So this is the target reaction. Right? Yes. Okay. So now you tell me uh, in the target reaction and in this reaction, the first reaction that is here. Your pehla reaction jaha pa? Yes. Is there anything common? Uh, common O2 is common. What else is common? NO2. Huh. So whenever you have these type of things, na? so you will prefer ki jiska formation ho raha, jiska combustion ho raha, usko common, wo common hai ki nahi hai, wo dhundne ke liye. Okay? So if you have here, for example, NO2 is common, so you will give preference to NO2. And uh, what I can say is that, but they are not, they are in the same side only, na? Uh, they are in the same side, correct? Yes. Okay. Now, what about this reaction? This I should write this inverse. Second one. Uh, second yeah. one may NO because NO is common, but it is in the product. So I will write the inverse. So inverse of this, this reaction will be. So I have these two reactions that I have to add. Half of N2 plus O2 is going to give me NO2. And then we will have NO. It is going to give me half of N2 plus half of O2. O2. Correct? Yeah. Now I can add yes. this. Anna? Add karing to kya ho jayega. Uh, ye O2 to chala jayega. Half O2 bachega. Either half N2 into kar jayega. Anna? So yeah, we'll so have N2 plus, plus half O2 plus N2. 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 Okay. Okay. So iske liye jo delta G0 tha. Ye to wahi ho jayega. So 552. Anna? Kilojoule per mole. Yes. Can you see what is delta G0? Minus 87. Correct? Yeah. yeah. Yes, Minus 87. Pe so, delta G0 of this reaction, jo humne likha hai, this will be equal to 52 yeah. minus 87 kilojoule per mole. Yes. 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 Then next, mm -hmm. there is uh, one part in which you have to calculate the equilibrium constant, right? In uh, the same question. Which one in the same question? Uh, in the same question. No, uh, no, it's not written. Are you need to calculate the delta G naught and yeah, 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 and equilibrium constant. Right? Yeah. So there is a relationship between uh, delta G naught and log K. Actually, this is delta G is equal to delta G naught plus ln Q. This is one. This is one equation that we will be uh, learning in equilibrium chapter, okay, ln Q. So we know that at, wait a second, this is RT ln Q, not ln Q, sorry. RT ln Q. Now, we know that at equilibrium, this is standard case and this is the reaction case. At equilibrium, Q is equal to K. We have just seen that. Yes or no? Reaction yeah. Q is equal to yes. K. And at equilibrium, kuch to change hota nahi hai. Yes or no? Yes, Anna? nothing changes. Nothing yeah. changes. So, the delta G will be equal to zero because nothing is changing. Anna? Yes. So, now we will write. The delta G now is equal to, or rather I can write it like this. Zero is equal to delta G naught plus RT ln K, Q K, why? Q became K. And we can also say RT ln K is equal to minus of delta G naught. So we have got the G naught, right? So from yes. here we can write R, we can write T and ln K. So ln K, is equal to minus of delta G naught divided by RT. RT. Okay. Yeah. And you know a bit of log and ln. So we have log with base E and we have log with base 10. You know these terms? I know log E, log 10, I'm not sure. Achha, so log E or log 10, if you have 
log of base e log of a to the base e is equal to 2.303 log of a to the base 10 this is the relationship between e and 10 okay so ln is natural log okay. that means it is log e right ln is log e anna correct yes ah. so i can write that ln k is equal to 2.303 log of k which is equal to minus delta g not rt minus of delta g not rt aur yahan se aapka log k jo aa jayega asal mein na like iska answer to aapko bahut hi aasan mil jata iska answer jo uh, what is the equilibrium constant ye jo anti log ka value diya hua hai na you see the value of anti log yes निकालना आ जाएगा किसी भी चीज का ऐसे दिया रहे चाहे नहीं दिया रहे तो लॉक के इट विल बी इक्वल टू माइनस ऑफ डेल्टा जी नॉट अपॉन टू पॉइंट थ्री जीरो थ्री आर टी सो असल में लॉक क्या होता है जिस I say log of base ten or log of hundred of base ten. This will be equal to two because ten to the power two is equal to hundred, right? Yes or no? Yes. So here we will log what base ten is. Yes, sir. And a log base ten is, and ten to the power yes. of this term will be equal to the constant equilibrium constant. So the k I can write as I can write hundred is equal to ten to the power two. Similarly, I can write k is equal to ten to the power माइनस ऑफ डेल्टा जी नॉट जो भी आया है डिवाइड बाय 2.303 आरटी है ना टेंपरेचर भी दिया है आर इज द क्लिपडम कॉन्स्टेंट एंड डेल्टा जी नॉट वी हैव जस्ट फाउंड फ्रॉम दिस रिएक्शन दिस इक्वेशन ठीक है यस ओके नाउ टू मी एनी अदर क्वेश्चन एंड फॉर द फाइनल एग्जाम कमिंग अप आर टीचर टोल्ड दैट गैस लॉ गैस लॉज आर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट सो दैट कम्स इन व्हिच चैप्टर आई जस्ट हैव टू स्टेट्स ऑफ मैटर अच्छा ओके ओके उसी में तो है गैस लॉ ना चार्ल्स लॉ बॉयल्स लॉ यस सर यस ओके और बताइए एंड दिस वन आल्सो द द क्वेश्चन नंबर 7 द सेकंड पार्ट ऑफ इट इट्स आस्किंग आयोनिक प्रोडक्ट ऑफ वाटर एट 310 के इज 2.7 इनटू 10 टू द पावर 4 माइनस 14 व्हाट इज द पीएच ऑफ न्यूट्रल वाटर एट दिस टेंपरेचर अच्छा सो जस्ट अ क्वेश्चन आपने पढ़ा है इक्विलिब्रियम खुद से uh yeah because our chemistry teacher is not uh, teaching it really well so yeah i don't know could say in the sense and uh, you have any sense what what is ionic product kuch pata hai aapko what is ionic product yeah i know what is ionic product of water uh what is ionic product of water uh it is the concentration of h plus and oh minus ions in water okay. and uh, that is k w na Yeah, is the concentration of H plus into the concentration of OH negative. So at two ninety eight Kelvin, that is at room temperature, this is equal to how much? Ten to the power minus fourteen. Correct. Yes. And so here, what did you say? That define ionic product of water. So you define that. Then they they said that ionic product of water at three hundred ten Kelvin. So they gave you a temperature three hundred ten Kelvin, and at that temperature, what did they say? They said that the concentration of KW is equal to how much? That is equal to how much? Two point seven, na? Yes, Into ten to the power three point seven. It two point seven lag raha hai. Unko to? Yeah, two point seven into ten to the power minus fourteen. So ten to the power minus fourteen, है ना? Two point seven. अच्छा. So this is the uh, Kw. This is the Kw of water. Now, uh, at this point, at this point, what will be the? What is the? What is the? What is the? pH of concentration of such a pH concentration of hydrogen neutral water at this temperature uh, so this will be equal to the concentration of h plus to the concentration of oh negative and a concentration of h plus and concentration of oh negative now we all know that h2 it will ionize into h plus and oh negative so the concentration yes. of h plus and concentration of oh negative will be same yes or no yes it will be same it will be same okay so that means i can write that this 
I can I'm taking uh, one of them as x, and this will be also x. So I can say x square is equal to 2.7 into 10 to the power minus 14. Correct. Yeah. Hana? So from here I will get the x. So x square will be x ho jayega, hai na? Sorry, x will be this term, right? X square will be 2.7 into 10 to the power minus 14, and x will be under root 2.7 into 10 to the power minus 14. Correct? Hmm? Yes, sir. Hmm. Okay. So that means I have got x. That means this is the concentration of H plus. Yes. And yes, what sir. Th is minus log of the concentration of H plus. So I will say that this is equal to minus log of concentration of H plus is 2.7 into 10 to the power minus 14 to the power 1 by 2. Hana? Yes, sir. Plus up to math, sir. Haan, yeah, yeah, I can do. Hana? Now, uh, eighth, eighth question, kya tha aapne? Yeah, this we did in yeah, we did this. Yeah, in yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 आपका सवाल कुछ गलत नहीं लग रहा है आपको इथ क्वेश्चन में देखिए इथेनॉल अल्कोहल अल्कोहल तो नहीं बनना चाहिए आपको नहीं वो आई थिंक ये बनेगा इथाइल पेंटोइन वो जो पेपर में नहीं 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 इथाइल पेंटोइन तो सही बोल रहा आप बोला आपने लेकिन ऑन ओजोनोलिसिस इट विल गिव इथेनॉल है ना Okay. है ना मतलब वो तो कोई yeah, yeah. तो गिव्स मी ये कंपाउंड ना कार्बोनिल कंपाउंड नॉट एन अल्कोहल यस ओके फिर ओके एनी अदर क्वेश्चन आई डोंट हैव एनी अदर क्वेश्चन अरे नहीं भाई आप बताइए आप बताइए क्या डाउट है आपके इतने कम मार्क्स क्यों आए तब Huh? That's what I'm telling now. It's uh, actually what happened. I, even our teachers told that we made the paper tough just because the we had to practice tough. and paper is not tough. Where अच्छा time कम पड़ा आपको? But they make easier than this. वो हम नहीं वो हम पूछ नहीं रहे वो हम पूछ नहीं रहे अच्छा इसमें कौन सा सवाल है ठीक है ना इसमें देखिए uh, conditions for aromaticity करवाया हुआ है बिल्कुल बिल्कुल class में करवाया हुआ है बिल्कुल है ना? Yes. हाइड्रोकार्बन में आपका क्यों से पहले वाले क्लास में होगा एरोमेटिक नॉन एरोमेटिक ये देखिए तो यहाँ पे आपको जो कंडीशन लिखा था कहा गया था कल ये रहा ये सारा कंडीशन लिख देते हैं आप मार्क्स मिल जाते हैं आपको आई डोंट लाइक बट दिस टाइप ऑफ क्वेश्चन एक तो चार लाइन लिखो एक मार्क्स मिलता है उसमें फिर देन हाँ वन थिंग इज फॉर श्योर ये आपका सत्ताईस को पेपर हुआ है उस टाइम तक हमारा सिलेबस बिल्कुल भी आगे नहीं बढ़ा था है ना so that may be yes. a reason then we have like none of the, none of the question is hard ko2 is paramagnetic agar aapne like if you have bit of idea of uh, chemical bonding usme so